You're here at the World Water Forum. We are in 2012, in March. And UNESCO is organizing a special day around water in March next year. Uh, can you imagine uh, now, from now on, a, a process between public forums and official meetings that would lead to real solutions for water? Oh, absolutely. Well, the whole idea behind this forum is to bring together the various stakeholders. It's not only governments, it's not only diplomats, it's not only civilians, it's not only the scientific community, it's not only lawyers. Everybody who can come up with a solution that helps solve the current water issues is welcome. The whole idea of the forum is exchange ideas and generate new solutions. UNESCO next year indeed will be responsible for a very important year, which is a year for water cooperation. Uh, the, the whole idea uh, is to demonstrate that water is not a source of conflict, but could be, if well managed, a source of cooperation, whether it's a technical cooperation or a political cooperation or a transboundary uh, cooperation. The session what we just finished was dealing with governance issues, how to move from local through regional up to a global governance that is devoted to bettering the water situation all over the world and what is the role of the United Nations in that. As a European uh, working at UNESCO, which is sometimes described as a third world dish organization, uh, an organization uh, oriented towards the South countries, uh, can you now sense a big difference in the solutions for war, depending on where people live? Well, UNESCO has always been uh, an organization that was, uh, that, that was underpinned with a number of very important uh, principles such as everybody is equal, there is cultural diversity uh, that has to be recognized. So it, it, it was UNESCO is a very balanced, had a very balanced approach uh, to cooperation. Mind you, perhaps the most beautiful sentence in an administrative document is the first sentence of the Constitution of UNESCO, which was made right after the war in 1946. And it's very and different it, from it, the UN? Uh, yeah, it reads like this. As the war starts in the mind of man, it is the mind of man where the defense line of peace must be established through cooperation in science, culture, communication and education. So that's what UNESCO has done over the past 50 years. Of course, at the same time, the principal objective was to help development, to help cultural development and to help development in, in, in the countries that were coming out uh, from a, a terrible situation you know, the colonial periods in Africa, resources suppressed. So, of course, uh, the priorities, and that, that has been agreed upon by all the governments that have uh, owned and they are owning UNESCO, is to move into that direction. May I ask if your own behavior or perception towards water, usage of water, has evolved in the recent years? Well, it's a professional approach. I'm a water professional, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm in this profession now for well, nearly 45 years. Uh, so, well, I, 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 yes, 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 all the more so, as you know, I'm a farmer as well, I have a, a, you know, vineyard, and there's no water. So I was facing the problem in my real daily life, and I was there in the summer holidays, how to have a better water management for an area, which is an agricultural area, where there is no water. Of course it did, it did change. So I am, we are, we are, yes, the short answer is yes, it did, yes. <laughs>